So, the latest character of Smash Brothers has been revealed to be Minecraft Steve. And it seems that a lot of people are pissed about this. Look, I'm looking at this going, what the hell? It's a video game at the end of the day, and well, it's here, it's done. Minecraft Steve is in the game, people never thought this was going to happen, there were some that wished it happened, and it's actually happened. And so much so, it broke Twitter. I don't think I've ever seen that. People were so passionate about this, it actually broke Twitter. Now, I've seen some people are obviously very happy that it's actually a dream come true, but there are so many people who are moaning about this. I honestly, I, Twitter and Facebook has been a wash of people kicking off, getting pissed off, saying, screw you, Sakurai, I'm never playing this game again, this game's a disgrace, and I'm, you know, people cutting up their cartridges and stuff. But look, to all those people who are moaning and having a real moan and saying this is pathetic, shut up. Honestly, shut up. Look, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed at Minecraft Steve. Why? Because it's not who I wanted it to be. But at the same time, I can understand why that's the case. You know, this is a game for everyone, but you've got to look, you know, I, you've got to look at everything. I don't know much about Minecraft. I know nothing about Minecraft at all. I've never played it, never really watched any of it. So I know he's in it. I know he's a character and that thing that looks like a penis wobbling around that exploded. I've seen that in like toys and stuff, but I don't know anything about Minecraft. But it's massive, it's the world's biggest game for God's sake, and we can't ignore that fact. Kids, or teachers use it to help kids in school. So we can't ignore it, it's here. And it's been around for over 10 years. So it's like if they were to put a Fortnite character in or someone from League of Legends. Again, I don't know much about those two games either, but I'd understand it. It's a massive audience appeal. And whilst it's not who I wanted, there'll be so many people across the world right now who will be ecstatic that Steve's in the game. It's not just Steve, it's like three other skins as well. So technically, if you know you wanted to play as Alex, you've got Alex. You wanted to play as a zombie, you've got zombie. And you know, you've got a look of, this is a game to try and appease everyone. Like, I look back at the first ever Smash Brothers back in the day, and there were 12 characters, and I didn't know who uh, Captain Falcon was at the time. And because of that, I started playing uh, F-Zero, F-Zero X, and absolutely loved it. And maybe people might start playing Minecraft because of, you know, Microsoft, or Microsoft, I should say, because of Minecraft Steve. But, you know, my prediction was thought it was going to be Crash. Uh, I thought the timing uh, with the new Crash game coming out, I thought, well, this kind of looks sus. Uh, and I wanted Crash. Crash is probably, for me, the last, one of the last people of my gaming childhood, along with Sonic, Mario, and Cloud. So to have Crash in there pretty much sums it up. You know, and if I could have anyone else, it'd be like Goku, but, you know, the chances of that happening are slim. And probably Hollow Knight. But I think Hollow Knight, if he's going to come, he will be a Wii Fighter costume. It'd be a Wii Swordsman costume, um, like Sans was. Um, but, you know, people are like, oh, look, Sakurai doesn't... Sakurai looks pissed off. He looks doesn't look... So. I don't think he... Look, he blatantly made it obvious this wasn't his decision. It was someone else made this decision for him. Someone from Big Ups and Nintendo said, can you put him in? And... Fair enough, a lot of money's probably in exchange to do this. But look, this goes back to it. I can see why he was put in. It's the biggest selling game. It's a huge audience to children. And if you want more people to play this game, the next generation of gamers, then yeah, you're going to target them. So I can see why it goes in. But people shouldn't start bad mouthing Sakurai or his team. Look at the amount of work they've had to do to put this character in. Whether you agree or disagree with the character, they had to rework every stage just so they could put Steve in because it was his moveset. That's incredible amount of dedication. They could have easily said, oh, you know what, piss off. I'm not doing this. This character's shit. I'm not going to bother. But no, they've said, you know what, we'll give it a go. We'll see what we can do. And he's in. And look, I just can't, I can't get over people moaning. If you're going to moan so much about a sodding video game and who's not in it, go make your own one. Go make your own video game. Do it yourself. Then come back and, you know, actually produce something decent and see if it's any good at Smash Brothers. And I don't think it's going to be. This is a fantastic game, and it's a game for everyone, not just for you, not just for me, but especially not for you, it's for everyone. And that's why there's so many characters of so many different genres, because it's a game for everyone. And guarantee, even if it wasn't Steve and it was somebody else, say it was Crash, people would have been pissed off. Said, oh, it should have been Sora, or it should have been Zeno, it should have been Waluigi. Get lost. Honestly, there's, there's still four more characters to go, you know, in this pack's coming up. It could be anybody, you know, and I suppose you look at, you know, the, you know, who we've had so far, we've had Joker, we've had um, Terry, Banjo-Kazooie, um, and Min Min, you know, and some others, look, I wasn't, the only one I was really bothered about was Banjo-Kazooie, 
and maybe Terry from SNK because I did grow up in that area. But Banjo Kazooie, I loved the Banjo Kazooie game. So for me, that was brilliant. I always thought it'd be fantastic. But I didn't know anything about Joker. I knew nothing about Byleth. I, you know, started playing that. But Min Min knew nothing about it. But you're not going to be able to please everybody. And again, I guarantee when this was announced, some people would have been celebrating with a bottle of champagne that this is in there. And, you know, you've got to look at the first game to now. We have nearly 80 characters in there. And when Sonic came into the game, no one thought that was ever possible. But he's in there. So Snake. And now look who else you've got. You've got Cloud. You've got Ryu. You've got Ken. You've got Sans from Undertale. Granted, he's a skin. But the amount of different, different companies and different genres, different games who are actually representing this. Pac-Man's in it, for God's sake. Did we ever think we were going to see this? Did we ever think in a million years when Smash Brothers came out all those years ago, you'd one day be seeing the, the, the characters that we are? No, no, we didn't. So I think everyone should be bloody grateful for what they've got and just stop moaning. Like, this game can go absolutely anywhere now. If they're going to put... You know, Steven from, Micro, uh, from Minecraft. Who's to say they're not going to put Spider-Man in? Who's going to put Goku in? Obviously, two I'd love. Who's to say that's not going to happen in the future? You know, they put Duck Hunt in, for God's sake, Mr. Game & Watch. They could do whatever they want and put whoever they want in. And the thing is, I know they've said, oh, this is going to be the last DLC packs. Well, I can understand why, in a sense, because Sakurai's probably getting pissed off of all the stress and all the bitching he's been getting. But why not? We look at it like this. Smash Brothers is the base. There's no point bringing out a new Smash Brothers game. Just keep bringing out DLC characters. And if people keep buying the game, people keep buying the updates, then just update it. That's probably the best way for two to do it. Because if another Smash Brothers game comes out, everyone's just going to want the same characters or people are going to be moaning. And personally, I don't give a shit if you're moaning. I really don't care if you're upset by this. And if you're so butthurt about this, then grow up. There's bigger things in life. Again, I don't give a rat's ass about Steve. I don't care. The trailer was funny enough, but I watched it and went, eh, okay, fine, wait till the next one. But I'm not going to cry about it. You know, again, you didn't get who you want, someone got who they wanted. And if you go around saying, well, you can't enjoy the game anymore because my character wanted it, you're a prick. You're an absolute prick. Just go and play the game how you want to play it and just be grateful for what you've got. And at the end of the day, if you want more content, support this one. Support and be grateful for the game we've got. Let's see what Steve does. He could be absolutely great. His moveset could be fantastic. He looks like a random fun character. And we'll just enjoy it for what it is. If you can't enjoy it, then you shouldn't be playing video games at the end of the day. I just get really frustrated when people take it too far and think they can just go on Twitter, go on Facebook, and then just start giving abuse to, pe abuse to people because they think it's funny and they're bloody protected by a screen. Absolute bell ends. that's what I, in my opinion. Look, so that goes back to the same thing with Pokemon and all the Pokemon won't get in. That's not the case. Don't don't cry about it. Don't bitch. Don't moan. Just get on with it. Some things don't work out the way they're meant to. At the end of the day, Steve's here. I can understand why, as I said at the beginning, Minecraft is the biggest game ever. And for Xbox to start tweeting about it, and for Twitter to even go down, is incredible. The fact that you're willing for Xbox to get on board on this, and then you might even have PlayStation get on board with this, is only better for Smash Brothers. If you want random characters come up from any genre, you're going to get them if all the companies are working together. And in the day, now that Minecraft's in there, everyone is going to want their characters in there. You want a game of all genre. It's a celebration of everything. And Minecraft is no bigger. It's the biggest game on the planet. And I can understand now if someone from Fortnite suddenly makes an appearance. But look, I get really wound up about this just because of people's behavior. But let's just wait and see what happens. Look. We'll see when he comes out, see what it is, and see what the next four characters. No doubt I'll probably be doing another video of people moaning about that. But well, until next time, I'm out of here. So if you like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. I've been HBT. Bye-bye.